It is literally gonna fling anything away. Look, there goes the ghost. <laughs> oh wait, oh my God. Oh, look at the knight. Three hits, it doesn't stop hitting. <laughs> Bro, it literally doesn't stop hitting until the battle ram actually dies and that's game over. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys the earliest Evo battle ram gameplay. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys didn't know, the new evolution for the next Clash Royale season will be the Evolved Battle Ram. And guys, I think this may be the best card in the history of Clash Royale. And I'm not even joking. I'm just going to let the card explain for itself. Honestly, you guys will see in a little bit, probably in this match, that this card is completely broken. And it is nearly unstoppable unless you have very specific counters. And what I mean by that is that this card literally the special mechanic for this evolution it literally pushes stuff away so if you go for a pekka on top of the battle ram it will literally fling the pekka away from your battle ram so you basically have to have buildings i guess to defend it otherwise i don't know how you can stop it also when the battle ram dies it does come out with evolved barbarians which is super super cool as well so you have like a mixed evolution with like the evolved barbarians and the battle ram so i guess if the barb hut ever gets an evolution they're going to be all barbarians too which is going to be really cool it's going to spawn evolved barbarians probably okay i just need to cycle to the evolved battle ram here the only downside to it is that it does take two cycles to get to the evolved battle ram instead of the like for example one on the bomber or the royal giant or the recruit something like that but Trust me, guys, if it was one cycle, it would unarguably be the best card of all time. I would say, though, that this is still probably the best card of all time. I'm nearly there, and the deck I'm going to be playing with it right now is Evolved Royal Recruits, Evolved Battle Ram, because I really don't know how you could stop an Evolved Battle Ram, Evolved Royal Recruits push. I'm just going to try to cycle to the Evolved Battle Ram here, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is literally magic. I know Aragon doesn't have a building. He also doesn't have a Little Prince, which is a pretty good counter for this card as well. I'm just going to go for the Recruits here. And, okay, I can just Goblin Cage on top of that. Wait, he's kind of just spamming me out right now. I'll go for the Arrows too. And, guys, it's time. I have the Evolved Battle Ram. And coming up, I also have Evolved Royal Recruits. It's time, guys. He doesn't even know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Zappy's here. And i don't know how he's gonna defend if he defends this i don't even know what to say i'm gonna go for the royal recruits here on top of that royal ghost and i'm gonna go for the evolved battle ram behind this and how does he stop this i know he has his evolved battle ram but guys watch this watch this it is literally gonna fling anything away look there goes the ghost <laughs> oh wait oh my god oh look at the knight three hits it doesn't stop hitting <laughs> bro it literally doesn't stop hitting until the battle ram actually dies and that's game over that's literally game over he spent a million elixir to counter that <laughs> it literally it, it flung his knight away so when he tried to knight on defense it literally could not defend and then it hit the tower literally four times there is no doubt in my mind this is the best card of all time all right guys we're in the next one here and after the massacre that we just saw last game with the evolved battle rim i just want to start out with the action right away and cycle to my evolved battle rim as quickly as possible because man i genuinely do not know how that happened and i i'm honestly in disbelief that it flung away a knight and it hit the tower like what was it four times five times dashing on the tower that's a full dash damage four to five times and it still spawns evolved barbarians once it dies it's literally impossible to counter, I think. Okay, we do counter that one pretty well. I'm just going to go for the heal spirit here. I don't really want to rage. I think I just want to let this go and keep cycling to my evolved battle ramps. I mean, why not, right? I'm just going to battle ram the bridge as soon as I can just to get to that evolution. I do want to showcase you guys the gameplay aspect more than just like wins. So like, I'm just going to be trying to get to my evolved battle ram as soon as possible, even if it's not really the greatest play or something. Because I really just need to showcase some of this madness, dude. This, I don't know what Supercell was thinking, but all I know is that they messed up for sure. I just, I can't think of a card that was better than this. Like, Evolved Firecracker? No. Evolved Bomber. Like, the only card that maybe is in contention with this is Evolved Bomber. The only thing that we have for the Evolved Bomber, though, is that it died to arrows. You could predict it, but this card, you put P.E.K.K.A. on it, and it flings it away. Okay, guys, wait. I have an idea. I'm going to Three Musketeers here behind the Knight, and then I'm just going to Evo Battle Rim. And how does he stop this? There's just no way that he stops the Evo Battle Ram. This card is just a walking win. 
Like, there's no way he keeps the tower here. I'm going to battle ram. And by the way, guys, for the battle ram to get the flingy effect, you need to have it to charge first. It needs to be charging. And look at this. Oh, my God. It just pushed all the barbs away. And the ghost. What? And it got two connections. Dude, it literally pushed all the barbs away. What the heck? This, this is not normal. This is not real life. <laughs> what the heck, dude? What the heck? I'm going to go for the Evo Knight, the bandit. Okay, well, I guess my heal spirit did get arrows, but dude, how are you ever supposed to stop that? Okay, Aragon has an Evo Battle Ram here. I'm just going to three Musketeers predict it. I don't know how else I could stop it other than like maybe an Elixir Collector, but I don't even think that's going to work. Okay, I'm going to rage this up to kill the Battle Ram. Wait, the Battle Ram just charged and killed my Musketeers. Dude, the Battle Ram literally just took out my Musketeers. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, bro. Wait. I think that means the Evo Battle Ram would kill stuff like Goblin Gangs and stuff like that if it's charging through it. Because it does quite a decent chunk of damage. It does, like... It seemed like it did, like, maybe, a, like, a fifth of the Barbarian's health. So it definitely kills, like, sk like skeletons. Like, skeleton armies are not going to counter Battle Rams anymore whatsoever. Wait, did I just lose? Bro, I think I just lost because of the Evolved Battle Ram. Uh, yeah, I guess I lost. <laughs> All good, though. Man, that was the craziest thing yet, I think. I don't know what was crazier. The four Battle Ram dashes or pushing away five Barbarians and a Royal Ghost. All right, guys, you know we had to do it. We need to try the Evo Battle Ram in P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam. And what better way than, like, I guess, hopefully showing you guys that the Evo Battle Ram actually pushes away the P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully, I can get a clip here, but either way... This this is literally the best thing ever. I don't even know what to say. I'm actually speechless. There's no way Supercell don't know what they're doing. This is the most unbalanced thing they've ever released. I promise you guys, the meta for the next month is literally just going to be people cycling to their Battle Ram Evo and going Battle Ram at the bridge. Dude, I feel like Goblin Drill Battle Ram will become meta. Like, like Battle Ram Wall Breakers Goblin Drill could be such a good combo, bro. <laughs> it actually could be really broken because the Wall Breakers will force out buildings, especially the Evolved ones. You always use a building on the Evolved Wall Breakers. Okay, I might be in a bit of trouble here for this push, but even if I go down some damage, I could probably just get through with the Evo Battle Ram. I'll just Lightning here. I'm mainly just looking to cycle to my Evo Battle Ram right now, but obviously don't forget that you still do need to play the game properly, even with broken evolutions. You can't just like randomly play cards until you get to it, kind of like. I'm not doing that completely, but I'm doing that a little bit just to showcase you guys the gameplay, but I'll try to win this game and lock it in. Make sure to show you guys a very accurate representation of what will happen with the Battle Ram Evo. Okay, I'll just zap here. Dude, Battle Ram Evo looks best when paired with other evolutions to tank for it or like other spells to support it and clear out counters like Evo Zap, Evo Knight, P.E.K.K.A., Mega Knight, Recruit, stuff like that. So Battle Ram is, is very strong, but it's not typically good alone, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You still need stuff to pair with it. It's not going to be a lone card, but I do have the Lightning in this P.E.K.K.A. deck because if he has a building, right? Obviously he doesn't because he has P.E.K.K.A., but if he had a building, I could go Evo Battle Ram plus Lightning and Lightning away Teslas, Cannons, Bomb Towers, that kind of thing. So, I think this might be an unstoppable combo, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, wait. I'm just going to go for the Battle Ram here, and then I could get a nice Lightning on top of that uh, Little Prince. Okay, Lightning. Wait, did he do Lightning Block? Wait, actually, that's really good. I'm glad to just get that Evo Battle Ram off the board, man. I don't want to deal with that crap anyway. <laughs> Dude, I'm just not interested with the Evo Battle Ram. That card's annoying anyways, and very broken. Okay, I'll just Barbarian Barrel here. It's good to know that at least Lightning takes it out, man. Zap here too. Oh, wait, I need, I need to be careful, actually. I'm just going to P.E.K.K.A. The Evo Battle Ram behind this? No, that's not going to work. I'll just go for the E-Wiz. You still need to use your evolutions properly, I guess. I guess maybe Battle Ram might be the best evolution of all time, but Evo Bomber is like the most no-brain evolution of all time. Like, just drop it at the bridge every time and you get damage. At least with the Battle Ram, they have some counters, but they don't work very well, I guess. Okay, well, he wasted his Fisherman. I'm going to Bandit here, and then I think I'm going to Evo... Wait, hold up. It's time, guys. It's battle ramming time. It's ramming time. <laughs> I'm going to peck of the bridge here, and I'm going to go for the Evo Zap. Okay, wait. Or I could Lightning, actually. Oh, look at that. It pushed the peck away. It actually didn't do... It didn't do it properly, though. Okay, wait. Lightning? It kind of pushed it into the battle ram because the P.E.K.K.A. was already keeping it in place. But that's okay. I'm going to Evo Zap here. I'm going to ban it. Look at how much Elixir he had to spend on the Evo battle ram. He has the Fisherman. I'm going to battle ram on the left. I'm going to Barbarian Barrel on the left. And he only has Baby Dragon. Yo, this actually should be over right now. There's no way that I lose from here. 
See, that's the thing. Even though the battle ram didn't directly, like, take the tower, it got such a positive elixir trade that it ended up winning me the game anyways. I'm going to space out from the bar barrel. Perfect. Very nice prediction. I'm going to go for the battle ram on top of the barbarians. I mean, not battle ram. I meant bandit. Sorry. And I'm just going to battle ram here. I just need lightning plus zap to finish out the game. All he can do is try to lightning block with the evo battle ram, but I'm just going to wait. And if he doesn't go for it too soon, I'm just going to lightning the tower. But I know he's going to go for the lightning block. They always do. Just baby dragon here. Electricity. Oh, wait. Yep, there we go. And lightning. I'm going to wait a second, though, just in case he tries to spam cards. And GG's. Very nice win right there. Man, I can't believe Supercell really added this into the game. <laughs> I'll see you guys with the next match. All right, guys. For the final deck, I have quite an interesting idea here. I'm just playing Battle Ram Elixir Collector Cycle. Basically, the idea is to just get a bunch of Battle Rams down with the Battle Ram Mirror and the Evo Battle Ram, of course. I guess with the Rage to speed up my Battle Rams, and then obviously the Mirror, I can Mirror up my Elixir Collectors. I'm going to heal Spirit Knight and then Skellies for the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Ooh, he tried to Rage me. Okay, that worked out pretty fine for me. I take some damage here, but it's not exactly the end of the world. Take some damage, put an Elixir Collector down the Pump Bow Mindset, or just the Elixir Collector player mindset in general. And I can mirror up my pump because I guess Aragon also has an Elixir Collector. I don't mind that though. I really don't. Because it's not really going to be that hard for me, I guess, to defend. I don't think because I have a ton of Elixir. We'll see though. I'm just going to keep on stacking my pumps like they're bread. <laughs> if you know, you know. Stack my pumps like they're bread. All right, just going to go for the Knight the back to get to the Evo Knight. And then I want to Battle Ram as well to get to the Evo Battle Ram. Although, it might be a little bit better just to get to him another pump because I don't want to go for a Battle Ram into the Little Prince. I'll just Little Prince here to just to be safe. I'll go for the Elixir Collector right now. I could also mirror up my Elixir Collector if I want to. I th okay, yeah, I definitely will then. I have four Elixir Collectors down. About to be three, but still a lot to be honest. Man, I don't know what he's going to do. I have such a big Elixir advantage right now. Okay, wait, I have to Evo Knight on top of that Battle Ram. I could just let the Little Prince go and go for the Battle Ram behind my Knight, but I think I'll just go for another pair of Elixir Collectors, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what could stop all of this because I'm going to get so many Battle Rams down, man. Just drop the Little Prince in the back and three cards cycle my Battle Rams. This is going to be good. I'll Battle Ram here just to get to the Evo. All right, I'll Heal Spirit 2 just to cycle again. Should I go for another pair of pumps? Hmm, let's think. Eh, nah. LP the back. It's time, guys. It's time. Knight here. Oh, no. Wait, okay. I'm going to Elixir Collector on that Battle Ram. That should counter it. What? Huh? Wait, that card is not real. Wait. Oh, my God. I lost. Bro, I lost. Bro, what? What is happening? Huh? Bro, it literally hits my pump and just goes back. It doesn't even stop with the pump. You can't even counter the battle rim with buildings anymore. Huh? Bro, there's no way. This can't be real life. I'm going to rage. I need to take the tower. Bro, this is not real life. I think I'm barely just going to lose. I think I'm barely going to lose. I'll battle rim here. I need to take the left side. The mini peck is clogging up the right. Battle rim again, please. Bro, oh my god, I just lost because of that. Well, I guess if that doesn't tell you guys this is the best card of all time, I don't know what will. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Supercell, nerf this card now. Hey.